Dagan Butang. Sorry, say it one more time. Dagan Butang. Okay, thank you. Welcome to the Yeah, for sure. Um, so I'm David. I'm a resident of the downtown east side. I spoke here last year, actually, and I'm still with the Business Project. I'm actually uh, a staff member now. Got promoted. Yeah. So I started this, uh, I started this committee with, with Anna. We, we uh, right when it started, and I was quite impressed by all the results. And uh, so there's two things that came out of it that I'm directly involved with. The first one that you guys talked about was the uh, CART program. I came up with the, uh, I proposed for it, and when I say I, I mean like the Binners Project. This is one concern that all our spinners have. So, yeah, the CART, uh, what I'm vis visualizing is like a universal CART system for all of Vancouver. So I have like a CART share program, so everybody in Vancouver can use it. Because right now we're using shopping carts. And there's a big stigma on it. When we walk around, everybody thinks that we're like holding this funds when we're actually just bending or bending and all that. So. Oh, they could have a card that all of Vancouver uses because especially in Vancouver where there's like a subculture where everybody uses cards to, to bike around it, like trailers. So that that's that cards would be half cards, half trailer, so that people can hook up their bikes. So yeah. Anyways, I could talk about this all day long with the cards. So yeah, let me take up my first super long time. But hopefully hopefully I'll come up that would be great. And then second thing too is we're doing it uh, we're gonna be part of the needs assessment. Because, again Something that, as I'm coming from that dinner's, as the dinner vendor perspective of it, so it'd be good for us to actually talk to everybody in the downtown east side and see what everybody else is kind of doing, and as they say, what is it? Like, meet you where you're at, and we'll like literally be doing that. We'll be on the streets meeting people and asking how we can help, and hopefully come up with uh, with some new ideals, some new business models, or or just help people with, with uh, what they're doing at the present time. So yeah, that'll be great. That was very concise. Yeah. Mr. Buting, do you have a question from Councillor Carr? Yeah, yeah, question. Yeah, just a, just a quick one. Um, and um, you are a great salesperson. I, I must admit, love working with you. Yeah. Are you still yeah. with... Yeah, I'm still there for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, are you still... <laughs> that's right. Are you still with um, Megaphone? And... Yeah, that's what so we do. Wait, when I work with you, we're just for that big push for the Megaphone. Yes. So I still do that, but I just do the open channels for the, the Christmas time. Okay. Especially this year because I'm getting more busy, which is great. So okay. we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. And that those two projects, the Hope and Shadows and the Megaphone, they're st they're very much fundamental. In, are they? Yeah. Well, we have uh, yeah we have a uh, Sean Sean Condon that started all that. He's actually fancy, you know, but he's being part of the whole process. And I'm working with them too. That's one of the things for the needs assessment is we're actually looking to sign up permits. The help is uh, presently they give me myself when I go vending, especially when I leave the downtown east side, when I got to go after commercial, Starbucks and whatnot. Uh, the police will still sometimes roll up on me and be like, you know, you have, you have to leave or we'll come see all your stuff. Right. So this is one of the projects we're doing is we're going to have permits for all the right. vendors and make it easier for people to vend in the city of Vancouver. Excellent. Um, do you have any idea on, on sort of how much extra earned income uh, there is from people who sell Megaphone and Hope and Shadows? Uh, how much earned income? Yeah, how, yeah. Oh, well, for, for the Hogan Shadow calendars, it's, for the, for the month of uh, like November, December, it's probably easily like an extra six, seven hundred dollars. This is, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's very nice, very important. Yeah, I've got more than one. Yeah, and, and these are kind of <laughs> programs that we like to, to, to uh, enhance on and, and have it grow in the alchemy side with other people vending and, and, and different things. Excellent. Thank you so much for your work. Okay. Um, you now have inspired questions from Councillor Mix. Only one, I think. I'm uh, just curious because there's been a discussion about this kind of a functional uh, card or bin for a long time. I said, do you, are you at the stage where you could just say whether or not it would be manufactured by people or with yourselves? Or, or yeah. is there a partner that could, could it come fast or is this going to be a long process? No, so yeah, I said, I, I sometimes get nervous and jump ahead. So, when the couple of days of work you mentioned. <laughs> Uh, when you mentioned about the cards earlier, from the, from the, like, we call them the UV cards, the urban building units, uh, I actually, like, I didn't design them, these were universal, but I actually built them. I was with United McCann for like six years. So I built these cards, and, and used them. I was like, pretty much the majority of use order during the pickups. So, so I learned a lot from building and using those kind of cards. And there's many things, so we already have designs. So when, first, first thing is, I was coming from the vendors aspect, so we want to have a cart that, that's for multi use, so people to use for vending or people to sell uh, their food stuff and all that. So we want something that's, uh, that, that will include everybody in the downtown east side, so that's something we're processing. 
And then another thing too is we want these cars to stay on the streets. So like a good quote I read from Brazil is we don't want to build 30 cars just for 30 people. We want to build 30 cars for 30 people a day. So that can just consist, consistently be recycled and people can just use it every single day. So they're going to be bigger, bigger, heavier cars so that people can like lug them up into their rooms. Uh, and, and sturdy because we want them to last for many years and then eventually just start growing. So we, we get, we've been working on designs, we got manufacturers. As, until I think it's approved, and that's what we'll start doing. The first phase is actually just the, the assessment phase for the cards. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bolton.